Hey my good friends, Sam Haymart. For Test Driven TV, recently I had the chance to test drive the redesigned 2021 Honda Ridgeline and thus it's in the garage so we can take a look under the hood and get an overview of all the major technical components as well as the maintenance service points. Built with the same chassis architecture as the Honda Pilot and the Passport SUVs, the Ridgeline engine bay and components are virtually identical to them across the board, and much of what's said and seen here can apply to all three. Powering the 2021 Honda Ridgeline pickup we have here is the company's venerable 3.5 liter single overhead cam iVTEC V6 engine. It produces 280 horsepower here and 262 pound-feet of torque. All-wheel drive is standard and it comes exclusively with the 9-speed automatic transmission. EPA fuel economy for our test truck was 18 mpg city, 24 mpg highway and 21 mpg combined. Power and efficiency are enabled with many technologies including direct fuel injection, variable cam timing and cylinder deactivation that can shut down two of its six cylinders when extra power isn't needed. Following the airflow, the intake charge comes in through a medium-sized filter box on the driver's side of the engine bay and directly into a single-throat throttle body. From here, it makes its way into each cylinder through a plastic composite intake manifold. Because the engine features direct fuel injection, there's little to see in the way of a fuel system as much of it's hidden away under the valve covers and intake apparatus. When it comes to maintenance, some of the items are easily found and reached while others take some effort to get to. The easy ones include the fuse block, which rests at the passenger side firewall and features a fuse removal tool inside. Getting to the oil filler cap requires you to pluck off the engine cover where you can find it down below behind the radiator support. Also hidden away from immediate view down there is the oil check dipstick. To the side of it is the coolant reservoir, likely the toughest one to find and get to with exception of the oil filter, which is accessed from below the vehicle. Checking the windshield washer fluid is easier, however, seen easily at the passenger side of the front radiator cover with its bright blue cap. Changing the air filter is a job that can be done without tools and open by popping loose three clips, two at the outboard end and one at the back. It hinges out from two tabs on the inboard side to allow access to the air filter element itself. Replacing the filter with a new one is simply a reversal of the order taken to take the old one out. Be sure to make sure that the two tabs on the inboard side are properly aligned so it has a good seal. Checking the brake fluid can be done up at the driver's side of the engine firewall just behind the air filter box. The one item that's likely the most difficult to get to in service will be the 12-volt battery. It's located under the air filter intake tube, so getting to it for maintenance will require a few minutes to first remove the large plastic assembly and get it out of your way. All right, my friends, there you have it for the underhood tour of the Honda Ridgeline pickup. I have to say, out of all the vehicles that I've looked at in the last year or so, this has some of the more difficult maintenance and servicing to be done when it comes to reaching some of those items, finding them, and actually reading the levels in those containers because they're sort of hidden away underneath where you can't necessarily see them, especially the battery where you have to actually remove a few things to get to it. Anyway, that said, if you want to see the test drive for this vehicle, you can see that right here. Better yet, subscribe to our TD TV Garage channel right there. By the way, stay tuned.